And later, the Oilers reflect on a disastrous season. I kind of thought I was going to show up to the camera and things were just going to happen for me. Uh, the season ended on Saturday, Aaron, with the Oilers winning the game and losing out on a chance to get the first overall draft pick. Well, today, the guys played a private game of paintball, and here's hoping the duo of Joffrey Lupul and Rafi Torres hit all their targets because those two snipers will be under immense pressure to get back into form for next season. Joffrey Lupul walked out of Rexall Place today, his plastic bag full with a season of disappointment. I can't believe I just just wasted a year. This year, you know, Loops Lupo was a uh, was a, uh, a failure. Along with Rafi Torres, Lupo was the poster boy for the Oilers' dive into darkness. While Torres came clean on his season-long slump. I'll be the first one out to admit it. I, I kind of thought I was going to show up to the camera and things were just going to happen for me. The Edmonton-born Lupo is still unsure why his scoring touch and confidence disappeared. The hometown thing, I mean, the trade, nothing really. I just, I mean, I, I don't really have excuses. Now he's faced with a failure and he's got to have a game plan and a strategy of how he's going to fix it. Otherwise, it's not going to go away. Barring a trade, both slumping forwards will be back in order blue come September. While McTavish spoke of complete confidence in Rafi returning to form. He's got a collection of skills that, uh, uh, that... 90% of the players in this game would uh, kill for. Lupul remains a mystery for a coach who admitted he made mistakes too. It's up to me as the coach to maximize these players' performance, and uh, quite clearly, I, uh, I didn't do that. Succeed or fail once again, it could be a simple question of motivation. I'm not going to quit. I'm, I'm going to work hard this summer. We'll see come training camp in less than five months. Dave Mitchell, CTV Sports. Thanks, Dave. Now, the man with the most decisions to make is GM Kevin Lowe. He'll meet with the media tomorrow afternoon, and we'll have it for you uh, Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Now, another serious concern right now for Edmonton is the long-term future of Jared Stoll. The multi-talented centerman still has post-concussion symptoms after missing the final 30 games of the regular season. I've heard little, little bits and rumblings about uh, you know, career ending, but uh, that's not the way I'm thinking. That's not, uh, that's not in my head at all. It's, uh, I've been progressing nicely the last couple of weeks and I just plan to, to kind of keep resting until about May 1st and come back here meet with the doctors May 1st here in Edmonton and then uh, and then go from there. So good luck to Jared Stoll on the 1st of May. So that's Stoll. What about Shrimp? He was finally called up by the Oilers to play a single game. Rob Shrimp declined to offer us any headline quotes. The outspoken junior turned pro has learned to do his talking with his play. Everybody else got called up for a reason. Those guys were playing well down there, and they're putting up points, and, uh, you know, it was good. That wasn't, that's not what Rob Schmidt should say. You should say something controversial. <laughs> no, I'm growing up, boys. Shrimp will now play for a Calder Cup in Wilkes-Barre. He'll be back in the fall to vie for a job at center, but he says another year in the minors wouldn't hurt him.